Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. And if you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. So I think this is the type of video that most people make around Valentine's Day. I didn't and I decided to make it now. Why not? I want to talk to you about some of my favorite sexy, seductive and sensual types of fragrances. And we have truly we have a little bit of everything here to soothe each of those categories. Now, let's start sort of with the classics, you know, and I think um, it's very sensual to wear floral scents. Beautiful floral scents can be very sexy and very sensual. And I have two here. The first one is Atomic Rose by Initio Parfums, one of the most beautiful rose scents. I mean, the rose in here is stunning. It is creamy. It is sweet. It's a little bit fluffy in my opinion and even a little bit smoky. Like I think if you find Delina to be a little bit sharp and maybe a little bit tart because of that rhubarb, go for Atomic Rose because it is definitely sort of smoother. It doesn't have any of those sharp edges. Now, I'm a huge fan of Delina. I enjoy it. I enjoy the note of rhubarb in it, but I know that it bothers a lot of people. And if you're one of those people, I think Atomic Rose is a really, really great alternative. It doesn't smell exactly like Delina at all, but definitely similar, gives a very similar vibe, but in a much more elegant and maybe slightly smoother way. And in my opinion, this fragrance is incredibly sensual and very, very sexy. So again, this is Atomic Rose by Initio. Second one, yes, I talk about a lot, but I had to include it in this video because I think that this is one of the most sexy fragrances that a woman can wear. And I know that men go crazy over this scent. For some reason, men absolutely love it. What am I talking about? You might have guessed that is, of course, Fleur Narcotique from Ex Nihilo. Uh, what a stunning scent. Um, this is orange blossom with some musk. Uh, I think there's peony in here as well. There might be some fruits as well. To me, what I get most of all is this musky orange blossom, maybe with addition of a few other florals. It sounds so simple, but it's so special. It's so beautiful. It is so womanly you know like I feel like you you really uh, feel very feminine when you wear this scent and that kind of amplifies your sexiness I don't know if that makes sense but that's kind of how I feel about this scent and the fact that it has an absolutely amazing out of this world sillage definitely helps the scent as well I mean when you walk wearing this you know everyone can smell you. I think men will notice you for sure. I mean, this is a very, very sexy scent, very beautiful scent, very feminine scent. Next, let's talk about a couple of really powerhouse kind of fruity, punch in your face type of types of scents, which I think can be very sexy as well. The first one is Narcosis from Virtus. Uh, this is kind of an unusual scent. It has the note of mango. I think it's mango combined with coffee and, you know, a lot of other notes. And it's this interesting combination of mango with coffee that just 
makes this scent very special, very different, very unique. Not for everyone, for sure. Not everyone will love the scent, but I think if you are kind of an adventurous woman, if you're not afraid to try something different and something unique, this would be a great scent for you. And I think it's very sexy scent. I mean, there is something about it that just um, adds some kind of mystery to a woman, in my opinion, because it's like, you know, you're smelling this and you're not quite sure. What are you smelling? You're sm smelling fruits? Are you smelling coffee? Are you smelling some sweetness? Like, what is this scent? It has a lot of different facets to it. And it's kind of difficult to recognize exactly what you are smelling. And so I think that that adds mystery and that uh, adds a lot of sex appeal to a woman that's wearing it. So that's why I've chosen it here. Again, this is Narcosis from Virtus. And another one that I absolutely had to put in this category, even though I've talked about it to death, I'm sure that all of you are so sick of hearing about this fragrance, but this is the fragrance that my husband finds the sexiest on me. So it absolutely had to be in this selection. Yes, it is Tony Iommi from Zerjoff. And you know, I have to agree with him. I think this is such a seductive, sexy fragrance. It is such a punch in your face. Like uh, this is, you know, a woman that's not afraid to stand out, is not afraid to attract attention because this is loud. This is powerhouse. This is this amazingly sweet, caramelly uh, passion fruit combined with this kind of um, not super dirty, but kind of earthy and slightly dirty patchouli, like in your face type of patchouli. And both of these elements are so strong and they really stand out. And together they make this fragrance even more powerful. That's why I said, you know, this is for a woman who is not afraid to stand out. And even though this fragrance is quite powerful, I still personally, <laughs> like to overspray it a little bit to really make it stand out. I, you know, you all know by now, I don't have to tell you, I love this one. And yeah, like I said, my husband loves this, this one on me and currently finds it like the sexiest scent out of my whole collection. So yeah, it had to be on this list. Next, let's talk about a couple of kind of gourmandish scents that are also a little bit unusual and that I think are very seductive and very sexy. The first one is Silk Root from Amor Oud. Um, again, not a very popular fragrance on YouTube, like uh, nobody talks about it. And I think it is so, so interesting. This fragrance has a ton of notes, like some strange notes, there's spices, there's leather, there is, uh, what else is in here? Maybe oud, maybe, uh, there's like a ton, I don't know. Basically, this smells like a table full of Middle Eastern desserts with some uh, smoke around it. Um, yeah, that's what it smells like. So it's smoky and at the same time, it's like sweet, but not, not like cookie sweet. It just has some sweetness in it and it has some nuttiness in it. It's like, you know, Middle Eastern dessert that has like lots of honey and nuts and raisins and dried fruit in it. It's like those types of desserts with a lot of smoke added in. That's what it smells like to me. Again, slightly mysterious, kind of um, seductive, slightly maybe dark type of scent. Uh, but yeah, I think it is very seductive. It is very sexy. And again, it's not a very common scent. Like it's a little bit unique. So it's definitely going to make a woman stand out, I think. So yeah, this is Silk Root from Amor Oud. The second one that I put in this gourmand category is um, Diamond in the Sky from HFC. Now, this is not really... Gourmand, to be honest, this has a lot of sweetness in it, but it is not gourmand. But like I said, it's kind of gourmandish category, semi gourmand, let's say. So, this one, to me, this one smells like Lamar from Kajal with a lot, a lot of caramel added in. Like it has 
that kind of vibe. Some people compare it to Baccarat Rouge. To me, not really. Uh, so it has that, you know, kind of um, hard to describe, like fruity, slightly syrupy, slightly ambroxani, like I'm totally making up words here, I think. But that kind of vibe combined with a ton of caramel and the two sides balance each other really beautifully and again i think this is very very seductive like this is if you want to seduce a guy you know if you're really into someone and you want him to notice you i think this would be a great great one to wear like it's not going to overpower you but at the same time it's definitely going to make a statement so yeah this is really really seductive in my opinion Diamond in the Sky from HFC. Another one that kind of falls into this category is Andalusian Soul from The Merchant of Venice. This is also an interesting scent. It is sort of gourmand, like it is gourmand. It is sweet, like it smells like mm, some kind of baked good. But at the same time, it has something in it that's a little bit, I don't know, that makes it a little bit sensual, that makes it a little bit, I don't want to say animalic, but a little bit animalic, like slight, slightly something animalic. And I don't do animalic, so I don't want to scare you with that description because it's not an animalic scent, but it's something, a vibe, some kind of slightly animalic vibe that adds a lot of sensuality and a lot of sexuality to this otherwise, you know, gourmand scent. And again, makes it a little bit different. So it's kind of this baked good. I don't know exactly what type of baked good because I haven't tried anything exactly like this, but some kind of maybe let's say cookie or something with a touch of animalic vibe, but in the best possible way. Yeah, that's how I would describe this fragrance. And again, I think it is incredibly sensual and quite sexy. And I'm going to end this selection with three fragrances that are very sensual and skin-like and really sexy, like, you know, um, like in the most probably sexual way, like, you know, this is like really, you know, if you want to get close to someone, if you want to get intimate, I think these are the best three scents. And the first one here is Isara from Dusita. And I, maybe some of you will disagree with me, but that's sort of how I perceive this scent. And this is, again, I've said it before, and I'm sticking by it, a scent that I have a hard time uh, describing. In fact, kind of um, all three of these are a little bit hard to describe. They're, they all have this skin vibe. And I don't mean that they're really quiet. It just, they feel like someone's clean skin, you know, like you're really getting close to someone. And this one is, yeah, it's a little powdery, woody, sweet, smoky, but again, everything is so light and everything is so sensual and so seductive that you really want to get close to someone and really figure out what is this scent cloud that's coming from you? Like, what is this scent? I can't really tell what it is. It doesn't smell like anything in particular. And yet I am so captivated by it. I'm so interested in it, you know, that I really want to get close to you to really try to figure out what it smells like. So this is kind of my impression of this scent. And I think that's why it makes it very sensual, very seductive, very sexy. Another one uh, is Cure Beluga from Guerlain. Again, there is something about this fragrance that kind of gives it this sensual, seductive vibe. Not necessarily sexy in this case, but sensual and seductive. You know, you have this vanilla 
that's not gourmand and not overpowering in any way but it is vanilla and then you have what is it suede in here i think it's suede but anyways maybe like really refined leather or suede that really give it that kind of edge that again give it that you know come close to me vibe that's how i feel about it and yeah it's just this one is uh, definitely kind of quieter more mm, it's not very projecting scent so again i think uh it's gonna make someone want to get closer to you and really smell you up close and that suede and not gourmand vanilla i are gonna make a beautiful sensual combination. Yeah, so in my opinion, this one is very sensual and very seductive. And I'm going to end the selection with the scent. <laughs> I think that encompasses this kind of category of sensual, seductive, and sexy scents. This is the epitome of this type of scent, in my opinion, and that is, of course, number five from Rosendo Mathieu. I mean, this is very, very, very sexual scent in my opinion. It is a scent that you just, you can't describe. Yes, I know some people get kind of that rubbery, burnt rubber type of thing out of it. Yeah, I don't get that. What do I get? Well, floral, musky, amber, that's how the scent is described. Yes and no, because this scent to me is an experience. It's a whole experience. You got to put it on your skin. You got to let someone come close to you and smell it off your skin and it just something. It creates, I think it creates a spark. It creates a connection. I think it just adds something to the intimate uh, situation. And this is just incredibly sensual, very seductive and very sexy in my opinion. So we're going to end this selection with Rosendo Mathieu number five. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, selection and this video. Definitely let me know what are some of the sexiest fragrances that you have and that you enjoy. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to comment, subscribe and like it. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.